¿Cuál es tu pez favorito? Me gusta mucho el pez vela. Tiene más acción, más rápido, you ¿no? Know? Trabajas más con la caña, eso es muy divertido. Tiene muchos brincos, muchos saltos, es muy divertido en eso. Ya. It's a beautiful day. Have blistering runs, you know, all the thing, all the elements that you want. If you've never really gotten to catch something big like that, it's made a lot of dreams come true. We're here in Guatemala on the Pacific Coast, sailfish capital of the world, hands down. The bites are just amazing. I mean, there's no other place like it. Well, we, we say we average about 15 to 20 sailfish Whoa! per boat per day. But, I mean, that's, a, that's an easy number to break on most days. It's just the numbers and numbers of sailfish. It's unreal. There's no other place like it. Got another one coming on the long teaser. So mainly here, how we target the fish here, we're basically trolling, or it's a trolling spread. So most of our boats use four teasers and four baits. And some boats fish a little differently, like they'll pitch bait the teasers. Um, it's all ballyhoo. It's not like other types of fishing or trolling that's boring. I mean, you gotta troll six hours to get a bite. You know, the thing about the sailfish, it keeps you busy, and especially here. Here, the sailfish keep you busy. Most people that have never sailfished or built fish before normally don't see the fish when they come into the spread. So their first aha moment is like when that thing comes jumping out of the water. The sailfish, they put on a show constantly. They're always jumping up. They're always doing some back bend that you think they're going to break in half. And they go down and come back up again. And we always love to make that sailfish dance. Go, 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 go. Let it go, let it go. Para mí, la pesca deportiva es lo más importante para mí. Pesca comercial porque estamos matando los pez vela. Entonces, al futuro no vamos a tener nada bueno. Ya, eso es lo que cuidamos ahora. Tratar de cuidar el pez vela para que esto siga trayendo más turismo a Guatemala. Guatemala, they started like billfish conservation project amongst a couple lodges. Together, they've been, you know, educating really like the governorship and the communities that there, there's something more. Once they see that there's value in sailfish, they're starting to protect it a lot more. I think just like any other fish species, if you're, you're drawn by essentially two main purposes, right? Is food, and reproduction. So we're always basing a lot of that stuff on that. These are highly migratory species. They don't stay in a country's boundaries. They tend to move all throughout and uh, they migrate all over the place. We've had these fish tagging for them in Cancun or Isla Mujeres. They were recaught here in Miami and vice versa. Miami all the way to Cancun and Miami all the way down to Antigua. They go all over the place. Um, that's what's always super exciting about uh, billfish and sailfish in general. Is whenever you think you know something about this species, there's always something new that pops up that always kind of blows my mind and makes me just kind of go, wow. To me, the, the ability to, to create new products, to create widgets that make things better and easier, make you better as a team, are part of the satisfaction of a successful day. I've always been a tinkerer, you know, I was 
I like building stuff, so it's kind of how all this started, because we needed things that weren't built yet. We needed bait pens and de-hookers. You know, I turned the de-hookers down at Fred Herman's shop on a lathe, you know, just kind of kept feeling it and making sure it fit. You know, being able to have a great team. To me, the team that I have in the tackle business and the team on the boats are the backbone of success. Without that team, we're not, we're not winning. When we sail fish, a typical day for us starts out catching bait. And that's where being in the tackle business and being able to build a bunch of little unique rigs for certain situations helps. Yeah, right here, guys, about 10 down. The reason we work so hard and diligently to get good baits is because when a sail's swimming down the edge and he's swimming by multiple boats with multiple baits, you want that bait that you have to be the strongest. You need to turn that fish's head. You need to make that fish eat something that he normally wouldn't eat. So the bigger, the stronger, and the more active bait, the more vibrations he puts out, the more fish he attracts. The best teams typically have a good variety of bait. So you then have to become an expert at catching the bait, handling the bait, and what we call seasoning bait, or you know, getting them to eat in captivity and getting uh, longevity out of them in a pen. And really those baits generally are better. You know, they're more hardy, they're more durable. You know, all those things factor in. You kind of have to become uh, good at a lot of different things to be competitive in tournaments for sailfish. As you guys know, South Florida is known for the sailfish circuit. It's super popular just because we have a lot of anglers in the area, there's a lot of boat ramps. It's very easy access to get out to the fishing grounds here. It brings in a lot of people, it brings a lot of tourism dollars, it brings in a really amazing sense of community to the area as well. The tournaments here have been so successful because of the understanding of the region and of the state of how important the fish are. The really cool thing about seeing tournaments work, especially sailfish teams work, is the choreography. It was like uh, seeing an orchestra in motion. east coast of Florida, I guess, get identified as such a sailfish capital because when people come from out of town, they can charter a boat for a few hours and come out and have a chance at something that's really spectacular. They do all the right things, you know, they show themselves, especially kite fishing, you know, they'll come up and put their dorsal up and slash at bait and, and then, of course, when you fight them, they're just amazing fish. Put on a great show and they're big and, you know, it's, I mean, I can remember my first one caught right around here you know, 50 years ago, and it sticks with you, you know? That's what's so cool. Super just great memories. That's what a sailfish does. You know, it, it just, it rivets people to amazement of what a fish can be. 